Hi, it's Matt Gaz here from UK Lock Sport. Uh, basically, I just want to go through a couple of things with you and do a review or two. Um, I brought these king and queen rakes. I don't know whether it'll focus properly. Let's see if I can get them on a bit of bat black ground. Yeah, I'll put the king one on first. Yeah, there's the king rake. And here's the queen rake. Now, according to other people on um, YouTube, these are actually designed by a computer. And there you can see the differences in them. To the most common key rays you'll find. And I thought, well, I'll give them a go. Since they've won all these competitions, apparently in America with them, people have. But I found a problem. This is a standard lock. This was three pounds, but it is three pounds. I've got a job load of them. But I don't know. You can see this. It doesn't want to go in there. Now, if I put that in there, let's see if I can get it from this direction for you. Into a bit direct, better direction. The peak is too high to fit into the rest of the lock. These aren't practical on these sort of locks. The only one I've been able to find that I'm actually going to is a lish lock I have. Um, it's actually holding the tablet up at the moment at this angle, so I won't take it off. And they're just not practical at the moment. Not for our style of locks, anyway. I mean, that's the queen, and that's as far in as I can get it without tension on it or anything. I mean, it's not even all the way in. These are made by Sparrow. I bought these from uklockpickers.com or .co.uk, I can't remember which one it is now. I'd recommend staying away from these. They've got a lot of refining work to be done on them. I mean, they're not, they're not in the best quality, to be quite honest with you. There's no machine markings on them. It's search a little bit in the tip there. But that's about it. They're just too thick, they're not rounded enough, they're getting jammed up. Anyway, that's my review on the King and Queen pick. And I can pick this with a bow guitar in about 30 seconds. So that's just the style we're looking at. In longer locks, actually, I have a casp here. My thing doesn't fall down. This is the casp 12550. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. There we are. And it will fit into this cast here. But you just can't get a good momentum. They get jammed up in the keyway. There is a technique to using them. And there's not that many videos on YouTube of people actually using them to be able to pick up the technique. And I haven't got enough time to just sit here all day and figure out the technique to use. Now, something else to do on... UK lock pickers on the website are these. I'll see if I can. I'll put a couple on my fingers. They are these little tools here. These are rakes, uh, they're high spring steel, so they're really, really flexible. I mean, they are brilliant. They just bounce back into position. But in England, most of our locks are this way down. And it's the way most of us pick. If you put that on your finger, you can't really get a good rake in action because your pick will just well jam up, bend. You need to be able to get down closer to it. It's okay if you're doing it and your bidding was like this because you can put your finger underneath as a support. So you can put it through that finger there onto that one how they're supposed to be and then you can get your support in there and work away I haven't successfully picked a lock with these yet partly because one problem I've found if I can find the bow guitar is when you're actually picking the lock and you put in see if I can do it this way and you put your pressure down it just springs up so you're fighting with your pick to get the tip of your pick down. And by doing that, you're pushing too far down on the bottom pins here. So you're not getting the full effect of a bow guitar rake with this. 
you're continuously fighting the lock and your pick. Well, look, I'm just trying to push it in. And these are only three pound. I imagine they they've got their uses for cheap padlocks and things like that. But even then, I wouldn't recommend it. Another thing I'd like to review is my Southord C2010. This is actually going up for sale on UK Lock Sport. Brilliant forum, by the way. Now, I've used this once or twice, and I just can't get used to them. Just to show you the pick. Yeah, and it says Southwood USA on there. I mean, these are slim line. They're very nice, to be quite honest with you. I just can't get used to using them. I have a few picks that I always fall back to all the time. And I'd like to take a minute just to show you a couple of them. If you're seriously into lock sport, I would recommend investing in a good set. I have a Peterson set, and it's their new one they do in the little black pouch. Didn't come finished, brilliant, but they are very good picks. I invested in Krapish picks, is on UK lock sport. Anybody that wants. Um, some well made picks there is Krapish there's also No Name on there who is absolutely brilliant on UK Lock Sport and Woody uh, I'm still waiting for pit to get picks from No Name and Woody but I've seen the work they do and you pay for what you get so I think everyone's seen my Krapish picks there, I did a video on them um, I mean, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Capiche picks in there. And this is my other set I turn to quite a bit. This has a mismatch of everything in it. If I can just get it down. I mean, these here are from Sparrows. These are my Sparrow Rakes. I broke the bow guitar. This is actually a Southwood from the first lock picking set I got, which is now dismantled and broke up and broken. As you can probably see by the nick in the metal just there. In here, because I do a lot of uh, work for my friends and that. As well, I have a bypass tool. A homemade knife from a broken South Hill pick. I have a lot of tension wrenches, some cone picks. Because, let's be quite honest, they're handy to have when you get to a master. And I have some dimple picks here which I rarely use. See if I can balance this back up now, and I'll just show you what I mean by you get what you pay for. Sparrow picks are very good. I just find they do snap easy. It might just be me though, who's a bit heavy-handed. To be quite honest with you, if I just get out my this is my twin peak by Capiche. This is locked. There are no security pins in this lock whatsoever. Not unless I've changed it and put them in. <laughs> I'll just put it like that so you can see. 